Happy holidays, and welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. My name is Kristen Vincenti, and I am the assistant to the director. Over the next 12 workdays, museum staff and volunteers will be here to share works from our collection that have a connection to the holiday song, The 12 Days of Christmas. We are now on the eighth day of Christmas, where our true love gives us the gift of eight maids in milking, or in our case, a milk drop coronet by Harold Edgerton. Born in Fremont, Nebraska, Harold Doc Edgerton earned a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the University of Nebraska in 1925 and began his graduate studies at MIT in 1926. He became a professor of electrical engineering at MIT in 1934, and in 1966, he was named Institute Professor, MIT's highest honor. In 1926, as a graduate student, Doc began to experiment with flash tubes. He developed a tube using xenon gas that could produce high-intensity bursts of light, as short as one one millionth of a second. Edgerton's tube remains the basic flash device used in still photography. The xenon flash could also emit repeated bursts of light at regular and very brief intervals, and was thus an ideal stroboscope. In the early days of his career, Doc's subjects were motors, running water and drops splashing, bats and hummingbirds in flight, golfers and footballers in motion, his children at play. By the time of his death at the age of 86, Edgerton had developed dozens of practical application for stroboscopy, some that would influence the course of history. The strides that Edgerton made in night aerial photography during World War II were instrumental to the success of the Normandy invasion, and for his contribution to the war effort, Doc was awarded the Medal of Freedom. During the Cold War, Edgerton and his partners at EG and G made it possible to document nuclear explosions, an advance of incalculable scientific significance. A photo of the atomic bomb is seen here. Doc's genius for revealing slices of time to the naked eye also engaged the public imagination. In part, this had to do with his astute choice of subject matter, Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland, the acrobats of the Moscow Circus, British tennis star Gussie Morin. But Doc's most famous study, and possibly his favorite, the Milk Drop Coronet, transcended its simple subject. The image formed by the splash of a drop of milk not only introduced the poetry of physics into popular culture, but forever altered the visual vocabulary of photography and science. Edgerton's lab notebook entry for that day describes the details of how he conceptualized this particular image. Edgerton's son Robert described the creation of this image this way. A beam of light and a photocell was used in both examples to trigger the flash after an adjustable electronic delay. A dropper produces a small drop following the main drop of liquid from the neck pinching off in two places. This small drop following the main drop is seen in the photograph of the splash made by the main drop. The drop of milk is splashing into the thin film of milk that has formed on the surface from the previous drop of milk. The shape of the coronet is very dependent on the thickness of the film of milk, the size of the drop, and the height through which the drop has fallen. Milk was selected as the liquid because it is white and translucent and attractive to photograph. My father's contribution was his development of the electronic flash technology so that it had enough intensity for color photography and still have a short enough exposure time to have a crisp image of the moving milk droplets. He also devised the triggering scheme and delay used to capture this critical moment in the evolving shape of the splash. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another look at a work from the Cincinnati Art Museum's permanent collection. And remember Doc Edgerton's philosophy of work hard, tell everyone everything you know, close a deal with a handshake, have fun.